Egg handling, you see, is a vital process for checking embryo development during incubation. It helps ensure that the embryos are growing healthily and allows us to monitor their progress happening inside the egg. Now, let's move on to how to candle an egg. First, hold the egg jelly inside. As you candle the egg, you'll notice differences between clear eggs and fertile ones. Clear eggs will look, well, clear, while fertile eggs will show signs of veins and embryo development. As the embryos develop, there are key stages to look out for. By day 7, you should see veins forming. By day 14, you might observe more defined structures and even some movement. And by day 21, the embryo will be nearly fully formed, preparing to hatch. These signs are crucial for assessing the health and development of the embryos. Unfertilized or dead eggs. Let's take a look at some examples of eggs with no development. You can identify them by the absence of veins or any signs of movement. It's important to spot these early on. Now, for some tips on successful candling. First, always do the process in a dark room to see the details clearly. Handle the eggs very gently to avoid any damage. And remember, candle only a few times during incubation to minimize disturbance. Uh, As we wrap up, here's a heartwarming clip of a baby chick hatching. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to candle after seven days, look for veins and movement, and discard non-viable eggs. And don't forget to subscribe for more chicken raising tips.